Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Power Channel, and today I'm going to show you a super fun tutorial for some sort of Happy Meal folder. An introduction first, today's video is going to consist of three parts. First, the introduction, a little bit of explaining what, what we're working with today, and uh, what we're making and then the second part is going to be a real-time tutorial i'm going to tell you how to make the project i'm going to be making in both centimeters and inches if you want to follow along for later on in this video centimeters is the dark purple and uh, inches is the light blue but if you cannot read it if it goes too fast i will write that down below in the description box as well and then when I've done the real-time tutorial, we're going to go over to my usual style, which is a voiceover and speeded up version of the decorating and everything, so that we have a little bit of both. Oh, and if you decide, I think, I have a feeling, I never, I can never really guess which project you guys are going to like and recreate, but I have a feeling this is going to be one that people might like, because it's super simple and it has a big wow effect if you ask me like i got very 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 excited and you don't need that many supplies for it so i think that a lot of you are going to recreate it and if you do that would make me super super happy um please do tag me in the pictures i love seeing those and if you want your picture to be featured in an end screen sometime in the future don't forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog so, introduction first. I know, I know. Chatty Penpal channel. Now, a couple days ago, I received a super, super exciting package. This is the package <laughs> by uh, this company or this brand called Papercroft Society. Papercroft Society is a monthly... Is it monthly? I don't know. Papercraft Society is a subscription box by a website that I actually use quite a lot. It's called Craft Stash. Craft. I did an unboxing for the entire um, the entire content of the June box. This was only part of it. Trust me, there's more. I did an unboxing video for that. I will link it down below. I'm also going to link my referral code down below because this video is not sponsored but I did receive this product for free so as always you guys know me all opinions are my own I'm not going to say anything I don't want to say I'm not going to make anything I don't want to make I will only use things if they actually yeah if I would have actually purchased them I do not accept things that I wouldn't normally have purchased myself so I hope that you guys know that my integrity is kind of important to me, but okay. I did receive this project for free, full clarity doesn't mean that I do not absolutely love it. What happens is I have a referral link system going affiliate link, I forgot what it's called, uh, going on with Croft Stash. So if you want to end up, if you end up wanting to subscribe to the Paper Craft Society or if you want to buy, purchase a box for a one time, a box or if you want to purchase anything else from Craft Stash or Amazon for that matter I would be super grateful if you guys would use the links I have down below in the description box it doesn't cost you anything extra nothing changes for you but I get a small percentage for guiding you to the shop I have already done this introduction three times I have made countless um, trial versions of this so my tea has gone cold but what was I going to say? Oh yes, I, when I received the box, this was part of it. I didn't have a clear idea when I started, but when I saw this folder, I immediately knew... Can I show you that in full? Probably not. I immediately knew the style of meal we're going to make today. We are going to create, I don't know what I would call this, this pocket folder type thingy. Of course, we're not going to fill it with... Um, dies and sequins but we're going to fill it with happy meal goodies and a letter and it's going to be super super fun and i'm going to talk you through the entire tutorial uh if you end up making one of these do not forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog on instagram because every now and then i'll pluck up a couple of pictures from Instagram from that hashtag and I will include them at the end of my videos. It's so much, I cannot begin to tell you how fun it is for me to see people actually using my tutorials. Now this is a trial version I did but we're going to use a different 
paper. I will show you in a second. Um, but I also want to show you, this is another trial version I did. This one has one front flap and then two, two flaps that I would be turning into pockets. You could make it smaller, you could make it bigger. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I'm going to tell you my exact measurements, but feel free to alter it to um, your envelope size or your letter size or to whatever needs you might have. Um, but measurements. Oh yes, first the paper. I'm actually going to be, no, this is not the right paper. Where's the pink paper that I was going to use? This one, because I asked my kind Patreon patrons I asked my patrons on Instagram um, to, I asked them to vote which paper I had to use and they voted for this pink paper. So we're actually going to make a pink project base. Um, but uh, yeah, any, any, any paper you have is good. Single sided would also work. You would just have a white background, doesn't matter. But what you're going to need is a paper that is 12 inches long. Doesn't really matter how wide it is because we're going to trim it anyways. But this is a 12 by 12 paper and we are going to trim that to five and a half inches. If you're going to make the same size as me, you're going to need a piece of paper that is five and a half inches by 12 inches long. And you're, yeah, as I said, single sided, double sided, it doesn't really matter. And then we are going to score it. Let me grab my cheat sheet. We're going to score it at three and a half inches first. I'm just going to dive straight in. Three and a half inches. And then second score line. This is score line A, three and a half inches. And three and five eighths of an inch. So just so that we have a teeny tiny slot in between. You will see why in a second. Then. We are going to score again at seven inches. Is that correct? It is not correct. Yeah, we're going to score again at seven inches. Seven inches and seven one eighth of an inch. And then we're going to score again at ten five eighth of an inch. And Ten three quarters. So I don't think you guys can see, but basically we have just created this. We've just created that. And then we're going to fold, and the reason why we have these double folds, double score lines, is that so that we create that little <laughs> I don't know how to explain it's this little bit of extra room in between so it's like a little bit of space you could leave that out but if you're going to include pockets and goodies it might get a little bit bulky so that is why i have decided to do it that way okay now what i'm going to do is just trim a slight and like i'm one eighth of an inch of the bottom off so that would be literally the bottom like this is the top slot so that we have that tiny bit extra wiggle room and then your project should be like this oh that light Next theme we're going to want to do is obviously create the pockets. Now, there are multiple ways you could do this. You could do, where's my example? You could do a bottom pocket like that. So just square pockets all the way down would probably be very cute. Um, but I have decided to go for a uh, triangle kind of kind of triangle shaped pocket I'm guessing you could call it so for this I also have written down the measurements for the pocket we're going to need a piece of paper that is three and a half by six and a half inches and for that I'm going to start using the paper discovery pickers I'm going to be using these 
one of these, and one of these, and one of these. This is the papers. This combination of papers is what I showed my Patreons, and it's also the reason why they have chosen the pink paper. The other option was a more reddish brown, but they've chosen pink, so we're gonna go for it. I think it should actually be quite nice. So we're needing, a, we're gonna need a piece of paper that is three and a half inches by six and a half. Um, how is that even possible? I made a mistake. How can this be six and a half inches? Oh, I made a mistake. I am very, very sorry to have to admit this, but I made a mistake. It's not three and a half by six and a half, it's three and a half by five and a half. So it's good that we're doing this on camera or I would have completely confused you. And the reason why I wanted to make it this exact size is that so... And the reason why I wanted to make it that exact size is because I wanted you guys and myself, obviously, to be able to use six inch papers. So we're going to trim that to... Let's start with three and a half inches first. Three and a half by five and a half, not six and a half, five and a half. And then that would obviously be the exact size of the pocket, but we need around a fourth of an inch um, of a space to fold it. That makes sense. Let me just use my letter opener. So we're going to score it at a fourth of an inch. If you don't have a scoreboard, you could do this obviously with just a ruler. And also the bottom at a fourth of an inch. And that actually works pretty well with the letter opener. And then you're going to fold that over. So you don't even have to score it. You can just fold it if you like. Sometimes I do this by sight, just kind of fold it. Uh, where I think it's big enough, but because we're making three pockets, it's actually going to be nicer if they're all the same size. So then we have that. And then um, we're going to cut off new. Okay. <laughs> and then you always have that little square at the bottom that is left over, so we're just going to cut that off. I actually learned that it looks nice if you cut off a triangle like that, because then when you fold it. <gasps> perfect and you don't have that paper bulking up next thing we're going to do obviously I could leave it like that I would have a pocket but we are going to recreate that triangle pocket that you saw for Ron at the folder so what we're going to do I am going to eyeball this is cut from this corner to that corner and the reason why we uh, folded this first is because if you would cut it unfold it then you would have kind of a um, not a pointy end, then yeah, I cannot explain it, but it's kind of important that you fold it first and then cut it. And I'm going, am I going to eyeball this? I'm kind of scared. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to use a trimmer. Maybe I'm just going to use a trimmer. But you're going to cut it from the one corner to the next. Oh, this is scary. Okay, there we go. And then this is what is left. And actually, this is kind of perfect placement because we have the little florals in the bottom. So then we have our uh, triangle pocket. We have a little bit of space left on all sides so that it doesn't bulk up when we fold it. And it should be big enough to put some goodies in. And obviously you could reuse the triangle for something else if you like, but I think it's kind of important to add that fold first so that you can stuck stuff it with more goodies. Now, I'm going to create the rest of these pockets. The rest is going to be super simple, so I can do that in a voiceover. We're just going to glue these down, obviously, and we're going to decorate this, and we're going to make sure that it folds okay. But um, before I stick them down, I'm going to do some decorating in the background. So that is why I'm not <laughs> sticking them down right away. Okay, I hope this all made sense. If there's any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Don't forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog and I will talk to you in the voiceover. <laughs>
Hmm, I am working with a new editing, video editing program, and I just did an entire voiceover before I realized that it was using the wrong microphone. So I'm back, second time, second try. Uh, you just saw me create a pocket. I was hoping to do all three pockets facing left, and then I made my first mistake, and I made one of the pockets facing right. So instead of having three identical pockets, I'm gonna have two facing left and one facing right because of course I could have remade that pocket so that it would be the same as the other two, but I decided, hmm, might as well embrace this mistake. And I actually think it looks kind of playful now having um, one pocket facing the other way. The new stamps from this uh, set were giving me kind of a blotchy look, so I lightly sanded them first. But afterwards, I learned that it's better to kind of um, rub an eraser on new stamps so that you kind of take off that protective layer, and then they shouldn't do that anymore. So I'm going to try that next. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm obviously embossing that. Is it called a clarinet? Clarinet? I don't know. I think it is. I remember Spongebob <laughs> correctly. I stamped that and then I uh, covered that with the gold embossing powder and then I use my heat embossing tool to make it, uh, to turn it into liquid gold, but it didn't cover all the way. It didn't cover as much as I would have liked. So I just did a second layer so to give it kind of a more full, clear golden look. That time I kind of, moved it a millimeter so it's not perfect but it's still qu pretty cool so i decided to just to leave it like that because little mistakes they show that we're human <laughs> i think and i'm using some more of the stamps to kind of break that background a bit i also decided to use some black ink because there's uh, black cardstock in this set as well as um, black oh there's a a small part of footage missing here as I notice now okay I was going to say there's black sequins and black cardstock in this set so I thought using black ink would kind of tie everything together nicely but what is missing the footage is missing is I use an embossing folder on that that top little flap you can see there's kind of an imprint on there now from a music note paper which is pretty cool and then I also use the cardstock that was included in the set to die cut these um, little elements I don't know what you would call this element but I am I know that it's a music note as well it's a key in Dutch I if someone could tell me what it's called in English, I'd be very grateful. But a little circle with that key thingy. Um, and I decided to stick it on the front, but only half. So that it's kind of a kind of part of the flap there, if that makes sense. And then what I also did is I die cut just a note. Those words from a leftover scrap of that wooden print paper as well and I, I'm going to add that to the bottom because I'm going to put a letter in there of course just a note it's a letter Duh. so what I did now is I'm obviously just sticking down these pockets and then I'm going to uh, do some more decorating and I'm also going to fill the pockets with the goodies my favorite part always is finding a matching letter writing paper. This time it's a light purple one, but I thought that it could still be quite cool if you ask me. Um, this is from a La Papier video that I have not yet uploaded, so I uh, look forward to that. It's the latest writing set. I just got it in a few days ago because I also finished this video quite late. I was hoping to finish it sooner, but so much has happened. I also shared that on Instagram. It's just been a crazy few weeks. I started working an extra day and I think I kind of underestimated the toll that took on me. I've been super drained and then I'm also still expecting myself to do the same things in and around the house and on my YouTube channel. And obviously that's not really realistic. I'm realizing that now. Um, <clears throat> I think I should just give myself some more time and maybe that also means skipping a YouTube upload every now and then. But um, <clears throat> I promise I'm not gone for good. I am just needing a little bit of extra time. Oh yeah, in the background you saw me 
try multiple different hellos, basically little letters and a die cut that said hello, but all of them were too big. And with the letters, I didn't have the letter H. I don't know, it's just missing from the set. So I decided to write, to actually hand letter the words hello you. I'm always terrified of doing hand lettering simply because it's not my strong suit. But then again, I also love hand lettered uh, little elements because it's such a personal thing. Like it's literally your handwriting and I think that's also kind of cool. So I decided to go for a more minimalistic look. The front of the flip book has um, some of that pretty vellum, actual vellum <laughs> that was in the set and then hello you. And I also did some doodling around the page. I did a little doodly border. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. And I did some little flowers and little music notes and stuff like that. And it's very simple, but I decided that it's actually nice that way. It's not like overwhelming and that is good. Um, and now I'm just uh, picking random goodies. I know some of you like seeing what goodies I include. So here's what I included. I included uh, some little paper strips I had left simply to kind of honor that uh, original idea of the folder with the papers. And I also include a lot of black and white washi tape stickers, so a little baggie with those black music note sequins and some washi tape samples. I originally tried to make the baggie for the sequins with that vellum, but it's, it actually broke. Like I've never had paper break before, but it actually didn't work. So I just uh, took one of the little goodie bags I had in my stash. And I also last but not least included a couple of a little music, no, not music notes, a little, sticky notes <laughs> i'm gonna call everything music now um so that's everything i included i have not sent this out yet so one of you might very well receive this in the future exciting exciting um but i'm hoping to send it out soon as soon as i have some time to work on a letter and to sit down and craft and, and Basically, I'm hoping to finish this whenever I have some room to breathe. I'm really, really looking forward to that. <laughs> By the way, that's not me complaining at all. I literally did this to myself, so please don't feel like uh, you have to tell me that I can take my time because I know that. It's just a learning experience, a very big learning experience. I'm also in therapy again now and she always says, what do you need? <laughs> and what I need right now is to just allow myself to breathe a little bit and to also tell myself like, hey, uh, it's crazy now, but it'll get better again soon. So that's all, um, all, all for now. I'm guessing I really hope you liked this project. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below, anything you want to comment down below. Follow my channel if you haven't already. And I really look forward to seeing you all in the next video. As I said, I don't know when that will be, but you know, <laughs> you will see me when you see me. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.